Alrighty then, so it is 1.39 p.m., May 21st, 2019. Alright. And we're back to more Wild Arms. Alter Coda for the Sony PlayStation 2. And we need to head to the courtyard. That's what we need to do. Do, 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 do. So let's see. We need to activate, I think it's the North Statue. Yeah. If you have your tracker on, there'll be a yellow marker on it. A statue of a holy woman, circled by the other statues as if it's being guarded, faces west. So, of course, you want to use... the teardrop on it. And it opens the door of legend. Let's open that bad boy. Hmm... It's like a storage room. There's something mysterious in here. What is this nonsense? It's a carving of a mysterious pattern. Looks like the teardrop. That sounds familiar to the original. Of course, you want to use the teardrop. And we enter the sealed library. A little different than it was in the original, but it works. So this is the third dungeon. There are two different enemies in here, not counting the boss. Um, five chests, but we can only get one of them, because we need a duplicator to get one of them, and we don't have duplicators yet. So Cecilia, of course, she's a mage, so her HP and defense are pretty low, but she has decent evasion and good magic and resistance. And she starts in level 1, so we definitely need to gain some levels with her. She has no force right now. Ironically enough. So we got fire and heal. Do a little fire. Pillbug! Who are typically known for having high physical defense and weak to magic. Oh yeah. Thorny! For fun, we can try the heal spell. Yeah. So, luckily, unlike in Wild Arms 3, you don't need to uh, have FP to use magic. You just need the MP. Which I like a lot more, to be honest. It just makes more sense to me. Magic is treated more like actual magic, so... We get a heal berry! Levelage already! I mean, she starts in level 1, so... Crap. We definitely need to gain some levelage. Do, 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 do. And we get her first tool, the Tinder Staff. Which she didn't get in the original game, because the teardrop was actually her tool. The Tinder Staff is a magic staff that emits fire when the square button is pressed. You can light torches and melt ice by using this staff. Kind of like the, uh, fire rod from Wild Arms 2. Control the direction of the fire by using the directional buttons or left analog stick while holding down the square button. Cool. Fire is a flame to ignite torches and melt ice. Oh. That's cool. When candlesticks burn, the door will be opened. Basically. So we kind of need to go back up here and light those uh, candles, right? Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. More pill bugs. So before you fight the boss, you probably want to get to level 6, which isn't really that hard. I mean, starting in level 1, you're going to gain levels pretty quickly. Can't go 
I get to that one from there, can we? I think we gotta get to, uh... Can battles get out of the way? Bana bum Bada bada boom Goodbye, sir. I keep just fighting one enemy, it's not really doing a whole lot, man. It's not actually those, it's uh this one. That we need to light. There you go. I was thinking those two sur surrounding the door. No, 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 no. You can't light those. You can't do that on television. There's a book. We can try out her attack. Blue book. Yeah, you attack and you, you get an MP back, which is nice. Good thing to do when you're getting low on MP. Though it's probably not really going to be needed here. I think later on you get a skill that increases the amount of MP you you, you get from that. If I remember correctly. So there's the blue book. The two enemies in this place. Neither of which are very threatening. Okay. Okay, so we got some stairs. I believe we want to head this way. There's a chest. Two heal berries, that's cool. Then we can head out the other side. The fights here are pretty quick. Especially when there's just one. Basically cast fire and the fight's over. And by the time you ever run out of MP, you're probably going to level up and get your MP restored, so it's really not a big deal. Especially if there's multiple enemies in a battle. Which we don't seem to be getting right now, for some unknown reason. I mean, fire is going to one-shot any enemy here, so... Nothing to worry about there. So you shouldn't really have... Ha have any struggles with the enemies here. Hmm... The sword, Guardian Blade, ooh. Its name taints the heart with sin, a scar on the earth. Oh, yeah? It's not really a hint on what you need to do here, but, you know, it's lore, you could say. Da da da. Bum ba da bum. <laughs> One experience to go. That's Kudio. So we got three torches to light here. No big deal. I mean, that's all you can pretty much do, so you don't really need a hint, I wouldn't think. Place is is this place isn't exactly complicated. Can we fight more than one enemy, please? Jeez. Level edge. Level three, it's good stuff. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 we, ooh, we, we got a hundred MP even. I even st whoa. Kind of an interesting camera angle we got here. Is that something? No. It just kind of looks like it'd be something. Ooh. 
So it looks like this door is locked. There's a ladder, though. Guess we gotta open that door somehow. Finally, more than one enemy. I was wondering if that was ever gonna happen. Sheesh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Burn it all! Oh, we got a chest. Not even sure what our luck is, but... Apparently it's alright. Gimmelcon! Let's climb the ladder. Let's go in here. You want to read the slab? Light up the ends. Light up the center, but only three. Then you may enter. So remember the formation of lit, lit and unlit torches here. Because it'll be important coming up. So yeah. And if you notice... All of these torches are unlit, so you need to do it in the same order that they were uh, lit in that room over there. So you need to light the first, third, and fifth torches. Uh, no. That's not what we're doing, man. Just calm down. First, third, and fifth. There we are. Good times. Okay. Also, you need to do it pretty quickly, because I think the flames e end up extinguishing. I think they do. I, c I could be wrong, but I think they do. We got some vitality. Not that it's really necessary since we got the heal spell, but I suppose it's nice. Dun dun da da da! Free revive fruit. I'm okay with that. Not sure what you can sell that for in this game. Most wild arms games, towards the beginning, you can sell it for a pretty decent amount. So another room that looks like this. Five fires with short lives. By standing at its peak, give life. Then the door shall be opened. Okay. Same as before, but it looks like now there's five torches. Bum, bum. Yeah, you have to actually hold it down to do like a flamethrower type thing. Because you, you gotta light them quick. Need to kind of start in one direction. There we go. I don't think it really tells you that you can do that, but you can. But you can. It's kind of cool. It's necessary in certain... certain situations. Fire! Thorny! What, are you gonna bring back Prickly Pete? I think that's what's gonna happen here. Dun dun da da da! Healberry! Getting closer to gaining another level. 
Yeah, you can just hold the button down. You don't actually have to uh, hold R2 down or anything. For some reason, I thought you did, but you don't. I hit the wall instead of running through the door. That's pretty marvelous. Yes, keep, keep fighting multiple enemies. I'm not sure if you can fight three enemies, but... You know, it's nice to be able to fight more than just one enemy. Freeze! That's a spell we don't have yet. Looks similar to how it does in Wild Arms 3, but a, a little bit different. Has a cooler sound effect, I think. I like it. Burn the literature. Burn the priest. Like how there's a ladder in the background there. You know there's not actually a ladder in this room, but that's beside the point. I keep missing the door. I don't even know why. Oh boy, what is this nonsense? There's a statue. The teardrop faintly shimmered as your eyes gazed the stone statue. Well, what could that mean? So you want to stand near this, this one and use the, the teardrop, of course. That opens that up. And you want to go over here and do, do the same with this one. What do you know? Can't really see. What do we got here? Strong magics have sealed it such. So this is of course a duplicator door, but we don't have a duplicator yet, so we can't really do anything about that. But remember where it is, because we'll need to come back. Alright, if I could if I could freaking see, we want to head this way. Now where are we? Start? Press and hold X in front of a wheel to make the character grab the wheel, much like in Wild Arms 3. Rotate the left analog stick to make the character operate the wheel. Coolio. Okay, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So we want to climb the ladder here. Boom, boom, boom. Because there's a chest we can pick up real quick. 300 Gala. Very good. Now we want to mess with that valve. You know, so we can play some Steam games. I don't think you can jump off that ledge. Maybe you can. I don't know. Yeah, you, you want to hold the button down. Oop, I think we turned it the wrong way. Damn you. I'm gonna turn it this way. And it kind of moves the ladder to the middle. Of course, up here, there are there's a lot of books. I mean, this is a library. So. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We got some books to read. These battles keep being avoided. I kind of want to get into these battles so I can gain levels. You know what I'm talking about? I do like the sound effect of that freeze spell. It's nice. No trap detected. We haven't really had a trap yet. Not all chests are trapped, by the way. 